Now an update to a Target 12 investigators exclusive. We broke the story in June that the University of Rhode Island was sued by a California technology company in a multi-million dollar federal lawsuit. Now the two sides have reached a half million dollar settlement. Target 12 investigator Tali Taylor has the details on the agreement. The company, Synopsys Incorporated, says URI employees used counterfeit keys to access the company's software illegally. The lawsuit went so far as to allege that one of the user profiles, quote, appears to belong to a URI professor. When Synopsys filed this federal lawsuit in January suing URI for violating its copyright, it asked for, quote, maximum statutory damages per violation. The lawsuit alleged URI employees used counterfeit keys more than 135,000 times to access its software, starting in November 2020. That means if URI had lost, it would have had to pay Synopsys nearly $340 million. Instead, according to court filings, the two sides reached a settlement on August 9th. URI agreed to pay the software company $475,000. As a part of this settlement, URI agrees to share confidential data about those violations with Synopsys to combat unauthorized use of its software. Additionally, URI states that it has addressed and eliminated the alleged unlicensed or unauthorized use of Synopsys tools. In a statement to Target 12, Synopsys spokesperson Simone Souza says, URI's prompt cooperation during the investigation was critical to resolving the issue, stopping the users who attempted to thwart Synopsys license controls, and reimbursing Synopsys legal fees and costs incurred to protect our intellectual property. She also states that URI will continue to be a part of Synopsys' university program, which dates back to 2006. It's unclear if anyone from the university was disciplined over the matter. Target 12 repeatedly reached out to URI for comment, but has not heard back. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Tali Taylor, 12 News.